Cheers, bitches. It is New Year's Eve. Finally, this living hell of a year is over and I'm doing a get ready with me. Yes, the virus is still alive and living, but um, we're having fun anyways. And by having fun, I mean at home with my family. And maybe I might be meeting up with a couple of friends later. Um, so yeah, but it's totally allowed. It's the rules here in Norway. You can meet up like four people, I think. So as long as you keep a social distance. But I thought I would do a get ready with me because I haven't done a proper video in ages. And what better time than New Year's Eve? Am I right? I think we all have the hope that as soon as the bell strikes midnight, um, the whole virus thing will be gone. But we all know that's not true. But we're gonna have fun anyways and just hope that 2021 is gonna be a better year. And I mean, this has been a pretty shitty year, so it can't really get much worse. Knock on wood. I'm drinking some cider, Norwegian cider, with alcohol, of course, because I am 18. I'm not 18, I'm 20. <laughs> I am 20 and the legal drinking age in Norway is 18, so I'm enjoying this cider. I really am. Okay, let's get ready, shall we? I just put on some moisturizer and some rosehip seed oil to prime my skin and I'm now gonna do a little bit of contouring I don't really contour a lot I'm just gonna put some on my cheekbones I'm just gonna be underneath my foundation so just pack it on A little bit of liquid highlighter hopefully you guys are having a lovely New Year's Eve even if it's gonna be a bit boring spending it with family and all that but we have to make the best of a bad situation am I right I'm gonna take just a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes just a tiny bit I don't really like to use a lot of concealer anymore and then a little bit on my chin I honestly can't believe it's already been a year 2020 is over how is that even possible it does not feel like it's been a year so much stuff has happened uh, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't believe I went to England and that happened like how that just feels like a dream that feels like it wasn't real right now uh, <laughs> speaking of England um, I kind of haven't talked to you guys about that situation <sighs> it's not a very interesting situation but it happened it was a learning I learned a lot from the whole situation, I can say that much. Uh, <laughs> probably wouldn't be an au pair again, but that is not because au pairing is a bad thing. Like, I feel like if my, f if the host family I had lived up to what they promised me, um, it would have been a lot better. But I definitely will be going back like to the UK, maybe live there for a couple of months, maybe do like an exchange, something like that. Like the UK, I still love the UK, but the old pairing side of it, like my, my host family um, kind of broke the contract we made, so it wasn't a lot of fun. But 
oh well, shit happens. As I said, I learned a lot from it and I don't regret going. So I'm now putting on my pretty fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid, uh, what's this called? A tinted moisturizer. I absolutely love this one. The whole world changed upside down this year. I just, there's so much, in one way, there's a lot that's happened, but in another way, it feels like sort of nothing's happened. <laughs> Does that make sense? Let's talk about future plans, shall we? 2021. Uh, well, I am taking a couple of, I'm retaking a couple of exams next year to get the grades that I want and that I need to get into uni. And then hopefully I'll be able to get into uni next year. And I want to go study nursing so that I can be a midwife. Because in Norway you have to study nursing and then practice for a year and then study midwifery. Uh, so I was thinking maybe I'd do it in England, but it's a bit uncertain about jobs and just COVID and all of that. So I'll have to see how it goes, but I'm thinking I'll study nursing next year. Uh, so that's exciting. I'm turning 21. Holy shit, I feel so old. I'm turning 21 uh, in less than a month. In actually 18 days. So that's happening. Uh, yeah. That's all that I've got planned, really. I haven't really got a lot of things going because of all that happened last year you can't really plan anything in advance so we'll just have to see how it goes but I'm very excited for a new year new opportunities all of that and then we'll just see where, where the world takes us I'd love to go traveling next year I just really hope we're able to go traveling next year because I am so itching to travel like I'm itching to travel I want to go to I want oh my god where do I want to go I want to go to Greece I want to go to Italy I want to go back to the UK there's just so much things I want to do not enough time I don't really, really bake a lot in my makeup routine but I like to kind of set just like set it and that's what I'm doing now and then dusting it away. I'm using the Dallas uh, bronzer from Benefit. I crushed my butter bronzer and I'm very sad about that because that was my favorite bronzer. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlogmas this year. I feel like I did somewhat of a good job. <laughs> it definitely could have been better but it also it could have been worse. Um, I sort of quit at the end there. I gave up because I was just so tired and it was Christmas and I wanted to enjoy it with my family and honestly doing vlogmas is a lot harder than what it looks like because you have to film every day and then you also have to edit every day and editing can take up to depends on how much footage you have and how much like what video it is but like a vlog usually takes up to two hours to edit uh, <laughs> which is a lot of time and it's it is sort of stressful but I will definitely be doing it again next year because it because it is a fun experience like it's super fun to do and it's so much fun having like stuff to look back on I have a new series planned for my YouTube for the next year, which will most likely be starting in January or February. And then I also have a couple of style bundle videos coming up. I have one style bundle already, and that video will probably be up either this week or next week. And I'm so excited for it. I am so excited for it. I was also wondering if you guys have new year's resolutions 
I normally don't really have like best solutions because it feels very forced if I can say that it feels like it's like oh you have to be fit and you have to be this and that and if you don't do it you're not successful which is not the vibe I'm going for but I do have a couple of things I'd like to accomplish and one of them is to save more money and also another one is to what was my other one and shop more sustainable so I want to hear your new year's resolution new year's wants I guess something like that in the comments down below and I also want to hear if you guys have any videos you want me to make in the new year I'm just gonna do my eye makeup off camera and I'll be back when I've done that I feel like I have a lot of footage <laughs> and I don't really have anything to talk about so so I'll be back when I've done my eyes and pretty much when I'm finished and I'll show you the finished look and my finished hair and mm, outfit and all of that. I have put on the finishing touches and all I'm missing now is earrings. I will show you guys my dress now pretty much I think. Just like a black mini dress. I actually found it in my mom's closet so go mom I guess. I literally never wear this much makeup so I feel kind of strange but also kind of hot you know <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and I hope you had a lovely New Year's Eve and may your new year bring lots of luck and happiness make sure to subscribe to see what I get up to in the new year and I will see you guys next year I guess bye